What's going on everybody at the Maple Hut? Welcome back to another gameplay video of some Maple Story 2. We're gonna continue playing our room blader today if we can select it. Uh, I always forget to hit start. I don't think you can double click it. It's a little weird. I'm used to just double clicking my characters and it goes straight into the game. All right, so today we are back on our room blader and we're feeling good. It's a nice um, afternoon here, nice and sunny, not too cold. It's turning to fall, you know, so we're, we're getting used to the weather a little bit, but this is personally my favorite time of year, so. All right, so looks like we got to level one. Oh, we're, we're trying to make it to level 10. We are level six here. So yeah, let's get right to it. Something I've noticed um, is that I talk a little bit, a lot, I feel like in my videos, and so I'll be trying to practice talking a little bit less. Um, yeah, just a little bit less random yapping. Of course, I'll still be talking where I need to talk about the important parts, but um, yeah, I'll talk a little bit less so you guys can hear more of the game volume. So just to let you guys know, I've also changed up my key, co key config a little bit. Um, my jump is now on space. Uh, my attacks are still on the normal ASDF and QWER, uh, but yeah, I believe that's it. Actually, that no, no, I didn't change it on my on this character, just on my assassin. So our normal uh, stuff is still on this character. It looks like I went through the wrong portal or something here. I don't know exactly what happened. Let's see what happened. Oh, we were just supposed to go back through. Got a cool purple map here. Something you will notice about this game is that there are a good amount of cutscenes. I don't mind too much because they are generally pretty interesting, so. Looks like we're getting ambushed here. Some of these uh, cutscenes you can't skip, like this one I cannot skip. So uh, we're just gonna sit tight. All right, guardsmen, I'll hold it down. Hold down the camp. I gotta say, so far the story mode is a lot more uh, interesting than the assassin story mode. All right, got our first mobs here. Nice. Level eight, wow, so we got two levels off of that. So yeah, as you can see, early levels you level up really fast. I mean, like really fast. You, you could be playing for maybe an hour and you'll be uh, level 10 plus. And that's how it should be, I believe. You know, early levels should take a lot less time than the uh, concurring later levels. Just to let you guys know, if you're on Instagram and you would like to follow us, you can follow us at Maple Hut. We're mainly in a meme page, so if you like memes, go ahead and check us out. I'll make sure all the links are in the description below as well. So it's looking like the majority of this video is going to be cutscenes. <laughs> I might leave timestamps um, once we get out of the cutscene, or maybe I'll skip them, who knows. Gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Oh, is this a boss that we're going to fight? Holding down the camp from an ambush by a boss? Is it true? Oh, okay. Oh, I just have to survive him. I remember this part. I think there was something similar on the uh, assassin quest, actually. 
where I'm not actually supposed to kill this guy. Let's do a wee a bit amount of damage, make sure we don't die. The images of the people escorting me. After I returned to consciousness, I headed to report what had happened at the closed. At the closed? At the closed. Once again, shout out to Ayumi for the English patch. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm thinking about doing my own tutorial video on how to install the English patch for MapleStory 2. If that would be helpful for you guys, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get on doing a video for that for you guys. I won't be doing videos on actually how to get um, accounts and everything or anything like that, but I would be willing to show you guys how to install the English patch. So yeah, just go ahead and let me know in the comment section below if that's something you would be interested in or you need help with. Or if you have gener generally any questions at all, I'd be ha happy to help you. As to the best of my ability. So it looks like we got some Madron Pale Knights here. Some Grim Reapers. No problem. They're running away from me. They don't want none. They don't want none of this, baby. So it looks like the storyline is now uh, caught up to the Assassin one. Maybe all of the characters have a similar storyline. I'm not exactly sure. This is being my second character that I've played. It's got some more Grim Reapers and some more Pale Knights. So something I've really noticed in this game is that the spawn rate is really, 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 really low. So I'm imagining that grinding won't be very feasible at all unless, you know, there are maps with higher respawn rates, which I don't think there are. So I, I believe that questing will be our main way to level up in this game. All right, so it looks like we have our first boss here, an actual boss that we're gonna go ahead and kill. This is perfect. First boss. Spetoy the Mega Madron. Spetoy. Wish we had some more skills here, no problem. Let's go and spam him down really quick. Hop out the way. A little bit of lag, but that'll never keep us from killing this guy. And he's done for, level nine. Just that easy. Really wasn't too bad. Ew, did I overwork myself? You didn't look like it, man. You were putting in work. You looked completely fine. We were running out of out of uh, spirit a little bit. All right, let's move into the next map here. You've got mail. I love the music. I absolutely love the music in this game, guys. It's so nostalgic. It reminds me of the early Maple Story days back. I'm talking like 10 years ago or so. Good, good old uh, nostalgic music. They did change it up a little bit. Uh, added a few instruments here and there, or taken out a few instruments here and there. But overall, the melodies are the same, and it sounds great. Level 10. So that wasn't bad. We, as you can see, we made it to from level 6 to 10, and. You know, not very long at all. I'm not exactly sure how long this recording has been going on for. It feels like maybe uh, 10, 15 minutes or so, so far. So I guess I'll uh, keep playing a little bit longer. Empress Areev. So this castle looks like, well, looks very similar to if you've ever played Dragon Nest and you go in the castle there. This honestly looks very similar to that. Nexon being a, or Dragon Nest being a formerly Nexon owned game, now owned by, I couldn't exactly tell you who. I haven't played it since it has been taken off of the Nexon website. Or disowned by Nexon. I'm honestly really sad that game was disowned by Nexon. This channel was actually um, founded on Dragon Nest and Maple Story initially. So, yeah, shout out to that game. The Birth and Death of Dragon S. It took, uh, it was around four, what, six years or so? Six, seven years? I believe they transferred over this year. Yeah, this summer sometime.
looking at this background here makes me think of Ma uh, Minecraft. Looks really castle-y and, you know, like I want to go for an adventure. Okay, so what town are we in here? This is Tria we are in. Do you want to learn Mount? No, it's fine. I'll come back to that later. All right. Tria Royal Office. So there's a decent amount of loading screens in this game. Uh, the loading goes pretty fast depending on where you're going. So honestly, it's not too bad. I do miss the instant load from the old uh, or original Maple Story. But I digress. It's okay. Got some reindeer heads on the wall. Good old cutscenes. All right. I'm really hoping for the uh, for a release and a North American release. I'm really, really, really hoping for it. I have no information on any of that at all as of now. I will look into it a little bit more. I'm not sure if there's going to be a North American release, but you know I. I am really hoping for it. That would be absolutely awesome. And of course, if it does, you guys know that we will be there right behind it, pushing it and helping you guys with whatever you need at all times of the day. Oh, so it looks like I just went out the port I wasn't supposed to. Kind of shot the, jumped the gun there. Takes a little bit longer to load. Going back to the main town here. Oh, earned a taxi stop. Nice. Taxi stops are really nice because uh, you can travel from town to town or destination from destination or destination to destination for a much cheaper price as long as both destinations have a taxi stop, I believe. Now, there are different uh, choices you can do like helicopters uh, helicopters aren't as expensive as just simply teleporting through the navigator but the, it is pretty expensive it is not as cheap as using the taxi to go town from town to town so going through this cutscene yet again it's something this game is notorious for is its cutscenes and not being able to skip them Alright, looks like we need to teleport now to another map, Revaldic Dam, colorful map. Oh, it's got a huge pool, a huge dam, nice. Wonder what we're going to be doing here. Oh yeah, you guys hear that OG music. Are we in Hinesis? Where are we at? Revaldic Dam, let's open the navigator here and see where we're at. We are actually nowhere near Hinesis. It's got the music going though. Hawker Letta. Guy, this guy kind of looks like Jimmy Neutron, <laughs> but blonde. All right. Thanks for the level up, guy. Gonna go ahead and move down here. Oh, oh. Missed the block there. I was supposed to jump. I'm so used to pressing space. Um, I was just pressing uh, space bar right there. So I can just climb up the wall. I don't need that block anyway. Making our way across town. We'll kill a few mobs while we're at, we're at it. You know, why not? Nice. Alright, so it looks like we have our first equips here. The game is urging me to open up my tabs. I've just been kind of in, in, uh, ignoring it. Let's go ahead and open them up here. See what we have. So let's open our skill tab. Um, what we could do here is auto assign our skills and um, we will select a type. Honestly, I haven't done this yet, so I, get, I think I'm gonna try it this time. And we are getting whooped as I'm looking at the skill menu. Let's get out of here before we die. <laughs> That was almost very tragic. Okay. Let's 
eat some herbs here. This restores health, doesn't it? 224 health over time. Yep, over 28 seconds. Okay. Open up that still skill tab once again. So, as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and check on an auto distribution and see how that goes. Looks like right now we can only do fire type because we have to be level 22 or above to do check the other ones. Everything you learned for the skill will be lost. Okay, usable skills will be automatically reassigned through recommended setting settings. Okay. Flame Sigil. Alright, that's fine with me. Let's see what Flame Sigil does. Okay, looks like it's a buff. I guess I could have read it before. Looks like our skills have lit up here as well. Apply a fire rune to your blade that lasts 240 seconds, increasing fire damage by 1%. While Flame Sigil is active, all attunable, attunable skills become fire skills. Alright, so it looks like our skills are fire skills now. Let's go ahead and use them, see what they look like. I'm really pumped for this, actually. Rune Blader. Alright. Huh, fire damage. Okay, so it's just applied fire damage. That's really cool. Alright, elemental damage to a swordsman-like class. Oh, wow, these guys are actually whooping me, man. Putting in work. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to die. Alright, just gonna kind of leave those there. Use some of our herbs. Oh, no, don't use that. Okay. Just kind of kite them around, you know. Kite them around town. And we're out. Okay. Don't forget to pick these up. Alright, I'm not even gonna fight these guys. I'm just gonna run right through them. The aggro system's pretty nice. They don't aggro to you too, uh, too hard. So you have time to run away. It's pretty nice. Kerning Interchange. It looks like we're heading to Kerning City here. You can tell by the crane up top, the OG crane. I wonder if we can go to Singapore from here. Hmm. All right. So looks like we need to go into, oh no, we just need to talk to Kathy Mart employee right here. Emma, the Kathy Mart. Hmm. Hey, she gave us some gloves. Thank you very much. It's raining out here, my hands are pretty cold. I could use these gloves. Oh wow. That one mob is putting in work. It seems as if this class is uh, a little less tanky than my assassin, or at least does less damage. Because I was definitely able to clear mobs with much more ease. Also because the thief is, uh, you know, long range, so I'm not getting hit by mobs as often. But yeah, these mobs hurt a lot. And a lot earlier than I remember. <laughs> I wasn't actually starting to take damage from mobs until around, what, level 22 or so on my assassin? Yeah, these guys hurt. Holy crap. Oh, and we died. Rip. This is our first time we've died. Okay, you will revive on the spot if another player hits revive to revive you in a safe place. Use mesos to revive instantly. We'll revive in a safe place. Oh, okay. You have been scarred for one hour. You can heal the scar immediately by visiting a doctor. If your health reaches zero while scarred, a metal tombstone, tombstone will pin you. Okay. Interesting. Thanks for letting me know that. I'm guessing we don't want to die again. Not like we ever want to die at all. <laughs> for that matter. Oh god. Oh my. They hurt so much. Holy crap. Okay, and looks like we're pinned by a metal tombstone. Okay, you got stuck under a metal tombstone. Metal tombstones cannot be knocked over by other players, so you'll have to use the revive button. Revive in a safe place. Okay. I thought the metal tombstone was going to be something a lot worse than that. That wasn't too bad. I have to defeat eight of these guys. All right, that's three. Wish we did more damage. Yeah, it was a lot easier to kill these with our assassin. Duly noted. Oh, oh my. The DMG is out of this world. I need to heal. Sheesh. 
yeah on my uh, assassin i was def i was definitely uh using my f and knocking over all of this all the scenery and everything one hitting everyone everyone in here so maybe this isn't a damage class possibly this could be well it's not a tank that's for sure so maybe we'll figure out uh the more we go down the line and it could also be could be because i haven't equipped my new sword and that's exactly why so let's go and equip our equips that would be smart right you guys are probably looking at me like oh my gosh what is this guy doing he doesn't know what he's doing look at all this stuff in his inventory he hasn't equipped all right now we can put in some work hopefully okay yeah that's a big difference cool wow if i would have known that we probably wouldn't have been pinned in that metal tombstone for as long as we were sheesh Alright, go ahead and head up here back to Kathy. Kathy Mart employee Emma. I keep wanting to call her Kathy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma. And we are now level, what is that? 12. So it looks like I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the bottom. Uh, subscribe to us. We're doing videos all the time. Hit that bell notifications for notifications anytime we drop a video. Uh, check the bio down in the description for any links that I may have forgot to talk about during the video. And as always, have a great day. Hey everyone, really quick I wanted to show you all that the Maple Hut website is now officially up and running. I'll leave a, a link to the info box up above. Go ahead and click that and check this out. We're going to be doing blog posts here. You can find out more information on MapleStory and Brawlhalla and other content here. And uh, yeah, so as always, have a great day.